Chapter 1 The Girl with a Sharp Mind In a bustling town of Harmonyville, nestled amidst rolling hills and a tranquil river, live a young girl named Emily. With her keen eyes, sharp mind, and insatiable curiosity, Emily was known for her knack for solving puzzles and unraveling mysteries. Her friends often teased her, calling her the detective girl, but Emily took it as a compliment, embracing her unique talents. One sunny afternoon, Emily was strolling through the town square, her trusty notebook and pencil in hand, when she noticed a commotion near the old clock tower. A crowd had gathered, their faces etched with concern. Pushing her way through, Emily discovered a bewildered elderly woman standing in the middle, her eyes wide with fear. The woman, Mrs. Henderson, explained that her precious ruby necklace, a family heirloom passed down through generations, had been stolen from her neck in the blink of an eye. The crowd buzzed with speculation, some blaming a pickpockets who frequented the square, while others whispered tales of a mischievous ghost hunting a clock tower. Emily, however, remained calm and composed. She listened intently to Mrs. Henderson's account, her mind racing as she analyzed the situation. With a determined glint in her eyes, Emily announced that she would take on the case, vowing to bring the culprit to justice and retrieve the stolen necklace. Chapter 2 A Trail of Clues Emily began her investigation by carefully examining the spot where the necklace had been stolen. She noticed a few scuff marks on the ground, suggesting that the thief had been in a hurry. She also observed a trail of tiny silver beads scattered along the path leading away from the clock tower. Following the trail of beads, Emily ventured into the labyrinthine alleyways behind the town's shops. The narrow streets were dimly lit, the air thick with the scent of old wood and damp earth. As she pressed on, Emily's senses were on high alert, her eyes scanning the shadows for any sign of the culprit. The trail of beads eventually led Emily to an abandoned warehouse its windows boarded up, and its faint peeling. With a mix of trepidation and excitement, Emily cautiously approached the building, her heart pounding in her chest. Chapter 3 Unmasking the Thief Peering through a broken window, Emily caught a glimpse of movement inside the warehouse. Squinting her eyes, she could make out the silhouette of a figure hunched over a workbench, their hands manipulating a collection of tools and trinkets. Emily quickly realized that this was the thief, the one who had stolen Mrs. Henderson's necklace. She watched as the figure carefully examined the necklace its ruby pendant sparkling under the dim light. Emily knew she had to act fast. She slipped away from the window and devised a plan to capture the thief. Gathering her courage, she returned to the warehouse entrance, her mind racing with strategies. Chapter 4 A Daring Rescue as the thief continued to dinker with the necklace, Emily crept through the warehouse's shadows, her movements silent and precise. 
she carefully avoided loose floorboards and creaking beams, her determination growing with each step. Finally, Emily reached a spot directly above the thief. She took a deep breath, gathering her remaining courage, and leaped down, landing squarely in front of the startled figure. The thief, caught off guard, dropped the necklace, its ruby pendant trailing across the floor. Emily quickly snatched it up, her eyes fixed on a thief's face. Chapter 5 Bringing Justice The thief, a young boy named Tommy, looked up at Emily, his eyes wide with fear and regret. He had stolen the necklace not out of malice, but out of desperation, driven by poverty and a yearning for a better life. Emily's heart softened at the sight of Tommy's remorse. She knew that he was not a hardened criminal, but a misguided youth seeking a wrong path. With a gentle voice, Emily spoke to Tommy, understanding his struggles and offering a chance for redemption. Tommy, touched by Emily's empathy, confessed his crime and expressed his willingness to make amends. He promised to return the stolen goods he had taken from others and to seek help for his troubled past. Chapter 6 Soul Lake Whispering Secret As Emily continued her detective work, she stumbled upon a peculiar mystery that whispered of ancient secrets and hidden treasures. A series of cryptic symbols etched on an old map led her to a secluded grove deep within the nearby forest. The grove was shrouded in an airy silence, the air heavy with an unsettling presence. Emily, her heart pounding with a mix of fear and excitement, ventured deeper into the woods, guided by the flickering light of her lantern. Among the towering trees and tangled undergrowth, Emily discovered a hidden entrance a narrow passageway carved into the side of a rocky hill. With a deep breath, she delved into the darkness, her footsteps echoing through the subterranean tunnel. Chapter 7 The Hidden Chamber The tunnel twisted and turned, leading Emily deeper into the Earth's embrace. The air grew colder, Demper, and the silence was broken only by the occasional drip of water from the stalactites that hung from the ceiling. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, Emily emerged into a vast underground chamber. The room was illuminated by an ethereal glow emanating from the center where a shimmering pool of water reflected the intricate carvings that adorned the walls. As Emily approached the pool, she noticed a faint inscription, its letters glowing with an otherworldly light. The inscription spoke of a hidden treasure, a relic of immense power, concealed deep within a chamber. Chapter 8 the Guardian's Challenge As Emily deciphered the inscription, a deep rumbling echoed through the chamber. The walls began to tremble, and a massive stone statue emerged from the pole, its size glowing with an airy red light. The statue, the guardian of the hidden treasure, presented Emily with a series of challenges, testing her wit, courage, and determination. Emily, undeterred by the fear that gripped her heart, 
faced each challenge with unwavering resolve. Chapter 9 Unveiling the Treasure After overcoming a guardian's trials, Emily stood before the hidden treasure, a magnificent amulet pulsating with ancient energy. The amulet was said to possess a power to heal the sick, protect the innocent, and bring harmony to the land. Emily, humbled by the power she held, vowed to use the amulet wisely, ensuring that its power was used for the greater good. She emerged from the underground chamber, her heart filled with a newfound sense of purpose. Chapter 10 The Legacy of the Detective Girl News of Emily's extraordinary discovery spread throughout Harmonyville, and she was hailed as a hero, her name forever etched in the town's history. But Emily remained grounded, her humility and compassion unchanged by her newfound fame. She continued to use her detective skills to help those in need, her reputation growing far and wide. She became a beacon of hope for the town's people, a symbol of justice and kindness. And so, the legacy of the detective girl lived on, her name whispered with reverence and admiration, a reminder that with courage, compassion, and a sharp mind, anyone can make a difference in the world.